What's going on YouTube, Geosnoid here. So in today's video, I have an important tutorial on how to save your blogs for iOS 14.7.1. And of course, the reason you would do that is because iOS 15 will be out, out of beta, I mean. And this means that iOS 14.7.1 will likely not stay signed for so long. But before that, I would like to show you PDF Element 8, which is the sponsor of this video. This is basically a pocket PDF editor right on your device. It can handle absolutely any kind of PDF file, including forms, and you can do actually a lot of stuff right on your device. You can find it here on the App Store by searching for PDF Element, which is this one in here. So after you get this one, you can basically edit any PDF file you like. We can highlight the document or parts of the document that we want. We can underline the parts that we need. And of course, add bookmarks. And then of course, you can even add text at the end of that or edit the existing text. You can also, of course, change the font and all you need in here, including the size, the color, the alignment and the style. So definitely check out PDF element here on the App Store. So you can see that 14.7.1 is still out at this moment and iOS 15 is in multiple betas. Now from the jailbreaking standpoint you are better off on 14.7.1 than iOS 15. iOS 15 does come with a lot of changes, it does patch a lot of vulnerabilities, so it's a very bad idea to not save your blobs and it's a very bad idea to update the 15 if you want to jailbreak in the near future. Things have been pretty dry in the jailbreak community lately so if you update your chances will be even worse. So if you want to jailbreak in the near future what can you do? Well, you can use the latest version of the Air Squared Blob Saver in order to save your blobs even for the A12, A13 and A14 devices, which are of course the newer devices. Now the latest version released a couple of days ago supports reading the app notes for A12 devices and newer even on iOS 15 plus. So if you want to save the iOS 15 beta blobs, which I definitely recommend, sometimes they do have good bugs, you can now do that and you can even specify an IPSW file which is useful if you have developer only betas which are not yet available for the general public. So in order to do that you need blob saver. Now if you have an older version like I do, you will be prompted to install 3 3.0.2. I have 3.0.1. So I'm going to download the update right from here. And of course, it's available for both Windows and Mac OS. It's also available for Linux if you need it. And it's completely open source. This might just be the best blob saving tool that was ever created because it's cross platform and it supports A12 without being jailbroken. So I'm going to replace it in here. And now I should have the latest version, which is this one right here. Now at this point, if you connect your device, being it an A12, A13, A14, or even older, you can press read from device in here to get the ACID, the model, and so on. And you can press all signed versions. And if you want to save the iOS 15 betas as well, which I actually recommend for jailbreak purposes, you can check this one as well, but you will need a URL for the IPSW. Now, if your device is an A12, you will have to specify app nodes and press read from device. But in my case, this one is not. So at this point, all you need to do is to press go and it will save the blobs for you. Yes, it's that simple. And as you can see, it says successfully saved blobs for 14.7.1 in users GeoSnow blob. So now if I go there, let me go to folder and here, you can see all my blobs that have been saved. And if you sort them by date, we have one in here for 14.7.1 saved today. So why are those important? What can you do with them? Well, once an iOS version is no longer signed like these in here, if you have the blobs, you might be able to use tools like Future Restore in order to downgrade or to upgrade even if it's no longer signed. If you don't have the blobs and it's no longer signed, then you can never go back to that version again. And you of course can possibly miss out on a jailbreak. If you have the blobs and the jailbreak gets released, you might have a chance to actually go to that version and jailbreak. Definitely save your blobs because we don't know what the future holds. So that's your little insurance for going back to a specific version, at least for a period of time. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Until the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.